was a big, beautiful saguaro cactus just like this one that a Scottsdale couple claims was cut down by mistake in front of their house. All they want now is for the company responsible to own up to what they did. The saguaro cactus is a larger-than-life symbol that sparks a sense of pride across the state. I was going to discern that that one was going to fall in my neighbor's yard. It's leading that way. So you can understand why John and Erica Pete are so upset after they say a valley tree trimming company cut down one of their beloved saguaros by mistake. It broke my heart, and it still does, because I still, I know this sounds weird, but I still miss it. The couple claims they hired the tree service back in October to cut down three 20 to 30 foot saguaros that were dying and on the verge of tipping over. The Pete's tell us they sent the company pictures of the specific cactuses to be cut down in front of their North Scottsdale home because they weren't going to be around when workers came over. They never imagined the company would cut down the wrong cactus. Even if it needed to go, they didn't have a right to take it without asking. And had they had it really needed to go, I would have gotten a second opinion because it was a beautiful cactus and I did not want it to go. Hey, it's Jason Barry over at 3TV and CBS 5. How are you? Arizona's family reached out to the Valley Tree Service that cut down the cactuses. The owner told us they did nothing wrong, insisting that the cactus in question was not doing well and his crews were simply following the homeowner's instructions to remove three dying cactuses. The Peets think the company should replace the cactus that should still be standing. A, I would have liked to have had some acknowledgement that they made a mistake because that's just ownership right there. Number two, I think they should have, they, they should do something about the cactus that they took. What happened to the Scottsdale couple is a reminder to all homeowners about the do's and don'ts when hiring a tree service. First, make sure the company is licensed and bonded. Try and make sure somebody is home when crews arrived. Don't just use photos to identify a tree or cactus that is set for a removal and maybe put up some rope or ribbon, even spray paint to identify a tree making sure the company that shows up doesn't cut down what they're not supposed to. Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.